as you can see I've um, installed pretty much um, all the shelving I mean the dresser here so it's just a matter of snapping it into place since it's already pre-made and that's why I, I really um, like this particular build because it's um, very cheap and the components are pretty much off the shelf other than the the, the custom um, console here that you're making to hold everything up and uh, the kitchenette but the kitchenette is being built sized for stuff that's already pre-made um, you can see I have the storage here that I, I use to carry the um, power cable power cable if I need to extend something and um, a rice cooker and back there is just some oil um, and other fluids for the car uh, the storage space down here I think I'm putting the um, propane stove uh, I have one of those one burner propane stove for when I'm completely off grid and I need to cook for the most part you, you'll see that my appliances are electron um, and electrical appliances 120 volts uh, that's meant for on grid use when you're boondock somewhere that has access to electricity um, basically you just plug all the stuff you know um, all your appliances there to this outlet here and then you plug the outlet to the extension cord here and then run that to the house or um, the campground, whatever you can, that has 120 volt access. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can see the um, sliding drawer, the, the slider here in action. Uh, you might notice I only have a, a single burner here. Um, on previous builds, I had um, one of those dual burner units, but what I found was I only used one. Um, didn't really need two units so this this time when I built the um, the kitchenette I decided to just go ahead and get one it was cheaper actually I, I think this burner was like maybe only like 10 or was that a 9 something or 19 something so it's like 10 or 20 bucks you might be able to find a used one but this was like brand new for like 10 20 bucks uh, this um this particular uh Poster oven here, Hamilton Beach, I think it is. Um, is nice and small and fits perfectly. Um, I got this from Goodwill, and I think I only paid like five or six dollars for it. And you can see it's like I don't think it was ever, ever used. So uh, you can get some really good bargains there. Um, slides out, and um, I did test it you know inside the house um so it does work but um should be able to do some cooking with this thing so uh next next segment will be installing the um the bench seat here and then we're pretty much done with the build and before i sign off um i just wanted to show off um some um thrift store finds um this this is a, a folding table it's very lightweight it's aluminum and plastic i think well, i think it's all aluminum actually and you can see i only paid um nine dollars for it uh, my friend actually bought it for me because we were out looking around at a thrift store and he saw it and said hey that would be perfect for your van and ended up getting it for me as a gift he also got this um folding chair it's really compact and um that chair was like i think five bucks so for like about fifteen dollars, fourteen, fifteen bucks. I have a I have a folding table and um, a little chair. I also have um, storage here for um, items like this. This is um, a skimmer for my son. You can see it fits right in here, and the um, boogie board from Ron Johns. So. Plenty of storage here for outdoor fun. And I don't know if you saw back there, you know, before I put all that in. There's actually a little bit of room down there, so if I wanted to, I could stuff things down there. Uh, I may try to figure out how to rig it here so that I can carry uh, some small fishing poles as well. But um, there's lots of storage. And the van looks and functions like a regular van, but on a moment's notice, you can take off and go camp in it or you know even live in it if you needed to so i think it's a fantastic investment for only a couple hundred bucks um when when i built this initially it was about i i'm guessing without the appliances and things the the actual build itself was uh, about two hundred dollars in materials or less 
and um, even adding the appliances because I picked them up for like, you know, like five bucks for this thing from Goodwill. Um, appliances were less than maybe 20 to $50 um, for everything from the, the burner to, to all the stuff. Um, and like I said, I do have a um, one propane uh, burner stove for cooking when I'm completely off grid. So um, please stay tuned and subscribe. Um, hopefully I'll be showing some more videos uh, with camper van conversions and and things that you can do to simplify your life um, in an economical manner. Um, we'll try to add showering capabilities and bathroom capabilities to this camper. Um, so please stay tuned.